beneath the clean and sterile veneer of the RSI webpage lies a section that houses the dark underside of Star Citizen, the world of Star Citizen Organization. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is a topic I've been wondering if I should talk about. Let me know if this interests you or not because there is so much happening in the world of Star Citizen organizations that is mostly overlooked or just not noticed because Star Citizen is currently very much in alpha and they're focused on making ships and building the core mechanics of the game. But there is so much activity in the background that nobody speaks about. I thought, self, I will take this mantle and I will bring this to the world, the world of Star Citizen Organization. <laughs> How many times can I do that in one video? Let's find out. Where to begin? I was wondering if there was enough content to talk about, and you know what? There isn't enough content for one video. There's enough content for multiple videos to talk about organizations here. Where to begin? All right, here's the org page. Very self-explanatory. If you start a new organization, you will show up right there in the new org section. And uh, here we have the most active organizations. This is broken. RSI. This section about most active organizations is broken. It doesn't show you the most active organizations. You cannot tell me that this guy, QQOP, The Oppression, with eight members, is constantly the number one or two most active org in the game with his, forgive me, correction, 13 members now, most likely all alt accounts that are always logged in. How can this be the most active org in the game? The reason it's broken is I say, we spent, we, my organization, when this page first went up, we tried to get on that active list for the longest time. We went onto Mumble, back in the olden days, before Discord, we had Mumble, and we said, everyone, get onto RSI, post on the forums, message each other, go into RSI live chat. Nothing worked. Nothing got us onto most actives. The one thing which worked is when new members sign up, so if you have an org of 10 members and five new members sign up, you'll show up as most active. But as a gauge of what organization is really active in the game right now, if your org of 1,000 people goes on and all 1,000 of you are in the game, you will not show up as most active in this list. So this is broken. Ignore it. It does not work. Rant over largest organizations. Let's look down the list. I thought this would be a good place to start. And I'm not going to do what RS or CIG did. CIG had an episode of ATV. Uh, hey, you guys in the comment section, which episode of Around the Verse was it where they did an org spotlight? They said they were going to do an org spotlight, and we were so excited. Test Squadron were so excited because they were going to do a spotlight, we thought it was going to be us. We had, I think, maybe a thousand members back then. We were pretty small, and we worked really hard. We made forums. We have a YouTube channel. We had a stream team. We had people on Twitch. We were pulling up all the resources to make a happy and welcoming environment for gamers to join and be part of this. We thought for sure CIG would feature us, one of the small orgs. What does CIG do? One guess. Well, if you've seen or you remember the episode, you don't have to guess. They went and featured the largest organization in the game named Explore. They were already the biggest in the game. Why do you go and feature the biggest organization in the game? You don't give them the spotlight. Give the spotlight to some small guys. That's why at the end of this video, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to pick out some small orgs and give them some recognition because they are the ones working hard. They're the ones who deserve attention. But let's actually, let's start there. I'm not going to start with test because you all know that one. I'm going to start with explore because that org, and forgive me if I'm being rude, but this org has been dead for the longest time, which is sad because when this started, when the org wars battle for membership started, explore was kicking ass. I don't know what happened. Um, I used to keep in touch with the guy who started this. Uh, explore started... Interesting enough, in this drama here, Explore started by splintering off Imperium. Yes, there were some disagreements with this one guy named Tigger and Imperium, and he said, screw you guys, I'm starting my own org, and there we go, Explore started. Um, guys from Imperium Explore, correct me if I'm wrong on any of this, it's been a very long time, and I am getting on in my years. Yes. <laughs> so, Explore, first of all, let me say... 
uh, every single person I've met from Explore is absolutely wonderful. They are so nice. Uh, CitizenCon 2016, I met a lot of members. Nicest people ever. Some of my favorite people in my organization actually came from Explore. Cosmic Trader, I absolutely love. He came from Explore. Uh, Ghana, my favorite French lady from France. Uh, she's deaf, so she's reading the subtitles right now. Hi there. I love you. Uh, she also came from Explore. So nothing but good things to say about the people in Explore. I think you are a lovely organization. Your branding has always been top notch. I remember the guy's name was Jack. I want to say Jack. And I'm looking to see if your name is listed somewhere on the beautiful infographics you did here. Infographic by Jack Knight. Jack Knight, if you're still around. Beautiful work on Explore. I've always admired your work. I think you've done a beautiful job at branding this organization. And it definitely went a long way in building you to where you were. But uh, things got stagnant in Explore a while ago. In fact, I can see it exactly when it went stagnant. January 22nd in 2016. <laughs> that's when. That's the last post there on your history page. So guys at Explore, come on. You know what? You had such amazing momentum when you started. Who's running this org right now? I don't even know. Forgive me. I know that's very rude because I should know these things. But uh, six and Ewok Spy, come on, guys, don't lose up momentum now. You explored a beautiful job. Keep going at it. And I look forward to seeing you guys back in the game eventually because everything I've heard so far is things are pretty dead, which is unfortunate. But let's move on to things which are not dead. The Corporation. <laughs> Pete, I know you're watching this. The Corporation is run by a guy named Pete, and he's really great. Let me pull up his little profile here. Rank, uh, board members. Here he is, Pete, a.k.a. Wayland. Uh, German, I believe, right? Because you did give a talk at the one German conference about Star Citizen, and you gave me a mention. I'm very flattered. Thank you very much. Pete and I have a great relationship in that he keeps in touch with me. I reach out to him. If there's ever an issue, we reach out to each other. This kind of communication, this kind of relationship is something I'd like to see happen with all other organizations within Star Citizen. Let's move down the line. Oh, before we move down, uh, I got to say, you know, I've always loved the logo, the corporation logo, the yellow and blue. Beautiful. Nice work. Again, branding is absolutely top notch. I love their logos and everything they've done. And the corporation is one of these organizations that really puts effort in to keep things fresh, keep things going. And I see you are closing in on 10,000. Preemptive. Congratulations to the corporation for the 10,000 mark. It is coming up very soon. ADI. Oof. Atlas Defense Industries. How are we doing for time? You know what? I'm going to leave this for the next video because Atlas, Operation Pitchfork, and Imperium all have some good stories behind them that it's going to take a while to get to. So let's stop right over there. But let me know, you guys in the comments section, is this content something you want to hear about? Do you want to hear more about organizations? Do you want to get involved in organizations? Let me know. Give me your comments below. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, tell your friends also. And I said I'm going to give a shout out to a small org. All right. Let's see. Uh, I'm scrolling. I want to give a shout out to Crash Corps. Crash Corps is an organization with 674 members and they have the best insurance is a strong community. I messed up your tagline there completely. But hey, if you're looking for organization in Star Citizen, go check out Crash Corps. Crash Corps, this one's on the house. All further commentary will cost you one Aurora. Send me one Aurora for nice things to be said about your organization. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one.